Hello, welcome to the Craft House Magic Podcast. My name's Ellie and today I'm going to share with you all the things that I've been making in the last seven days. So we've got time stamps in the description bar down below if you want to skip to any sections but we have a section on knitting, a section on crochet, one on shop update which will include all the sort of yarn advent information and sort of project bag and yarn set alternatives and things like that, colour of the month, yarn clubs etc and then a little appearance from Jensen at the end of the podcast. So you can skip along to any of those sections using the timestamps in the description bar down below. But I'm gonna go straight into the netting section and I want to talk about a finished object. So Barbara, would you like to come over? Thank you very much, Barbara. Here she is, very tall, because I wanted to get the bottom of the garment in. <laughs> this is the love note that I've knitted for mum and it's blocked and ready to go. So I'm gonna give it her this weekend. So hopefully this weekend I'll be able to record a little bit of a short and upload that of mum actually wearing it. But I will try it on in a minute so that you can see what it looks like. I am wearing my love note as well. So this one I've knitted in a merino and nylon DK weight yarn just held on its own not double or anything so that it's nice and smooth and there is no sort of fluffiness I knitted this one with fingering weight yarn merino and nylon and a, a lace weight alpaca silk fluffiness together so it's a bit fluffier so just because I wasn't sure whether she'd be itchy I thought I'd try it out just with the merino and nylon so that's what I did I've knitted it in 400 gram skeins and I did have about 65 grams left actually. I have knitted it way longer than the pattern suggested so the shortest version is only 5 inches and I think the longer version is 8 inches but I've knitted this a total of well 14 inches of the body and an inch of rib so 15 inches in total. It looks really really long but that's what mum had measured her top um, and that was going to be the best length for her. I've measured it since it's been blocked and it hasn't actually grown. I think I might have sort of overestimated how long it was so I think it's grown a little bit during blocking but it's come out really nice. I alternated skeins on the body and I did have a little clip of the video and I think two videos ago of how I alternated skeins but what I might do actually in the future is to get that clip and put it as a separate video so that you can find it easy uh, showing how I alternate skeins. I didn't alternate skeins on the body um, with the laces just down the lower body section once I joined um, just for knitting around the body and separated for the sleeves. I did the sleeves actually just knitting without alternating which is probably a bit naughty but you know <laughs> um I was willing to risk it I wouldn't advise people not to alternate skeins on the sleeves if you can so I changed it a little bit in that instead of doing a provisional cast on I used the Judy's magic cast on and I'll leave a link to my video tutorial of how I do that it just saves a bit of time at the end where you have to pick up your stitches off the provisional cast on because you knit the actual neckline sort of after you've done the body bit which is nice. The lace pattern on this was so nice and easy to do. I even knit a second one straight after. Um, I followed the chart, which is a tiny little chart and very easy to sort of follow if you've done lace knitting before. So if you if you have done um, Judy's Magic Cast on and some lace before, I'd find this a really easy garment to knit. There's no increases or decreases on the arms or the body. It's just really quick and lovely to knit. So you knit the main body in six millimeter needles and I think the the ribbon is a slightly smaller needle, 4.5 millimeters. So that knits up really, really quickly and I would knit another one of these I think for myself as well even though I've got one already. <laughs> you can see the lace goes all the way around the back. The only thing with this I think with some people is that they don't like how much sort of skin or top underneath can show through but I don't mind that at all. I've got a little vest top. I knitted my top 11 inches including the one inch of ribbing which is a little bit sort of on the short side so I do like wearing a vest top underneath but when I was I dyed up 200 gram skeins of fingering weight yarn and I had two 50 gram skeins of the alpaca lace fluffiness and I was getting really close to finishing the lace so I sort of stopped knitting but I did have about three grams left I probably could have got away with a couple more rows um, but there you go um, so I think if you're going to knit it a bit longer than I did you'd need an extra sort of skein in the lace at least but this one was knitted in 400 grams of the DK weight yarn 
so these are both knitted in my hand dyed yarn this one is was in my pink colorway inspired by the Aerosmith song and this one is in my my blue heaven colorway which mum had requested this sort of blue so I named it after a song that she really liked by Fats Domino but I'd talk about the difference in sort of fabric of these so the lace weight and the fingering weight yarn I think it sort of comes out slightly sort of tighter knit because you've got that density of the fluffy yarn whereas the DK looks quite loose I think and the drapiness of the DK and Merino I think is more compared to the fluff and the fingering weight yarn it's sort of it doesn't feel quite so drapey although this one is quite a bit longer I think it would still feel like that um, if I knitted it a bit shorter like this one so there is complete differences in the fabric that you come out with this is obviously a little bit fluffy you could brush the fluffiness as well to make that fluffy even more fluffy <laughs> Obviously, you've got a small silky finish with a merino and nylon, um, but I think Mum's going to really like that. I've double checked the length and it hasn't grown too much, so that's good. It's still about 15 inches, so I think that would be nice for Mum. I did end up, I think, knitting the arms very slightly longer than 10 inches on this one, so it does come a little bit longer on my arm, but I will try it on now so you can see the difference. So, just as a comparison, this is what my version looks like on me. And this is what mum's version looks like on me so this one is a bigger size so i knitted the original one in the 44 and a half inch pattern which was no ease at all and this one is the next size up so this should come to 48 and a half inches instead of the 44 and a half inches so it is four inches wider because mum's a little bit bigger than me so it is the bigger size the next bigger size up um, and you can see actually that it comes more like a three-quarter length because I did end up knitting an extra inch and also I think it, because it's bigger it comes longer on my arms than me so it may well look a bit different on mum so I have to see what it looks like um, when I take a clip with her with it on but you can see all the lace at the back which I absolutely love that it's all the way around love the shape of the hearts I'm very tempted to knit another one of these in some different colours I just love them and actually this length works quite nicely on me I could probably do with mine sort of in between the two that one's a little bit sort of on the short side and this one is a little bit on the long side for me um, well I say that but obviously it's hanging a bit lower because it's it's um it's a little bit bigger around the top side so probably 15 inches on the body if i knitted that size would be a bit better with just the dk yarn you can see that sort of drapiness which is really nice um but obviously the length of it will change because i've got the arms are that little bit wider i think when mum mum's got a little bit wider arms than me that will probably hold up a bit more um because i'm obviously measuring from where the armpit starts but isn't it lovely i'm very tempted to knit another one a nice simple quick pattern that you can get lovely results in in just a few weeks so i've now switched back into my love note but i just wanted to quickly talk about the neckline so when i cast off on this neckline i found that it was a really tight probably because i went for sort of the smaller size and i am quite a tight knitter anyway and i decided that just to avoid it sort of stretching out i do just a standard bind off so it doesn't stretch and it is quite tight on me i have to take my glasses off to get it over my head so it's probably messed my hair up some more <laughs> so with this blue one i did a bind off where you work two stitches and then work those two stitches using whatever knit or purl you did on the last stitch together and then do the next stitch and then knit or purl those two stitches together whatever the last stitch was if that makes sense and that seems to be working out fine it doesn't seem to be too big I don't think that will stretch out extensively so I think that'll be great for mum hopefully mum loves it and I will pop a reel up this weekend because we're going to go and see him over Easter um, of me and mum wearing our love notes together so that is the first finished object I've got to show you. I'm saying first finished object, but I only have one finished object. <laughs> 
working on another garment. So this is the Camaro by Tanis Lavelli and I've done quite a bit of this one. It's a v-neck top where the v goes quite a way down to the front and then you do a plain section with some short rows at the back because obviously you've got this v going down into the front. Now I've knitted this with scraps of leftover yarn from my comfort fade cardio that I knitted and I had all these scraps left and I thought well I really don't want to just have them in my stash so I want to make them into something and this was on the list to do so I've decided to use them for the stripes and I have managed to use up most of this this colour here I've used all up on these stripes um, and all of the this second to darkest colour here so I kept doing about six stitches in each stripe up here and then I went to eight stitches a little bit further down just to sort of use it up a little bit quicker I suppose and then here I've ended up doing about three rows of the lighter turquoisey colour and then a couple of rows of this sort of darker colour here to use up the last of the yarn but I think that sort of blends in together nicely and then I'm starting to do nine rows of these colours that I've got left so I've only got two of these colours left these two I've got quite a bit of them so what my plan is is I'm going to do a few stripes on the body and then I'm going to match those stripes on the sleeves if I can and then see how much yarn I've got left and decide whether I can do more stripes on the body and on the sleeves or maybe just do the body and then I've got some yarn that I've dyed up in a grey to go with the rest of that um, cardigan in sort of a a nice tonal grey that's in the rain colourway in the same base so to finish it off I have dyed up three skeins to do the body in the hopes that that will be enough we shall see <laughs> I think it said in the instructions that I needed about five skeins to finish the garment um, and I'm not sure I'm not sure how much I've used so far so I'll have to weigh this um, once I've got I will have to weigh this just to see actually I'll weigh it now and see how much I've got so I've just weighed this and it comes up to 190 grams so I've already used up 190 grams roughly of yarn obviously the needles weigh a little bit but I'm sure that doesn't make a whole host of difference because they are quite light higher higher sharps and I've got 40 grams of this yarn left and 75 grams of this yarn left so there is quite a bit so there's three four five six so actually that works out about six skeins in total if i've done three of the rain colorway so that should work nicely and i thought what i can do is once i finish the body if i haven't got enough left to do longer sleeves i'll just do shorter ones i was planning on doing sort of either three quarter length or um or elbow length sleeves on this again because i it annoys me when i have to sort of pull my sleeves up if i'm wearing the jumper all day so I, I do like to have them either um, shorter or, or at least three quarter length so I don't have to push it up but I do find that if you have a three quarter length sleeve that does sort of stretch because you're moving your arm so actually if I do it here or shorter then I don't get that sort of stretchiness within, which annoys me a little bit but there we go this is knitted in my own hand dyed yarn in my mixtape minis volume 10 colourway set but I've dyed it in full skeins what I am going to do actually is I'm going to dye up all of these separate Separately and list them in the shop because these are my absolute favorite colors so I'm gonna have to have them in the shop aren't I <laughs> love and I've already got a cardigan with this yarn in so if I've got two garments knitted out of it I think I should be offering it in full skeins also confession I may have dyed up some of this colorway ice ice baby um, to knit one of my other make nine list of garments so even more turquoisey blue <laughs> although i do have a bright pink pink jumper as well so all good because i've knitted this i'm very very tempted to do a ranunculus which is also on quite big needles so it'll be a quick knit um and it's the same sort of thing so that would be lovely to have a ranunculus as well as the make nine list i've already had it had which wasn't just nine it was like 20 something but you know <laughs> there's knitting goals and you've got to have these goals and it doesn't matter if you don't achieve them it's just fun to hope that you might have time to do these things <laughs> 
so those are the things that I've been working on in terms of sort of knitting but I have been doing some crochet and if you watched last week's video you'll see that I started this lovely pattern this is a pattern by Sandra from Cherry Heart podcast now there's two sort of listings on Ravelry the Daisy Puffagons which is basically this pattern but with one or two rounds on it and then there's the Daisy Puff blanket which is obviously the instructions for the whole thing the Daisy Puffagon is actually free but then if you have the instructions for the whole blanket there's a charge for it so I am going to actually purchase the pattern for the whole thing just to get an idea of what sort of how she's laid it out and how big she's done it but I'm probably just going to go with off piece with my own rules <laughs> anyway but I always think it's nice to support designers if they've especially if they've offered like a free version which is lovely you can sort of get a bit of a taster for the pattern and then she's done all the calculations to do the border and everything on there as well so let me show you this i did do a big sort out on last week's episode so you'll see um if you go and watch that that i've organized my little scraps into color order i say little scraps but some of these there's quite a lot left but it's a, it's a shame to, to waste them so it's nice to put them in color order and then you can sort of have inspiration to make things out of them i decided to grab the turquoisey bucket and there's greens in there as well to make this blanket and this is how I've got on so far I don't know whether to actually do it like Sandra's got in her pattern for the whole blanket in that she's used two colors on these stripy bits here I might do some of them with two colors what I have done is I'm using finger and weight yarn for this and I'm holding it double with a four millimeter crochet hook she does use DK yarn with a four millimeter crochet hook um so it is the sort of same gauge but you could potentially do it with a 3.5 i think or was it three millimeter i normally use for the fingering weight but you can change your needle size according to what um, weight of yarn you're using but i quite enjoy these sort of colors and this will go with our lounge quite well because i've got blues and greens in our lounge or the whole of the hexagon is done with two finger and weight yarns held together with a four millimeter crochet hook and hook i know somebody did ask in the comments whether i did that i haven't got around to replying to many of the comments yet since last week but you, there you go i've answered it on the actual podcast as well this is going to be a blanket for our lounge so i'm just going to keep crocheting it and i've got quite a lot of yarn in that basket so i, I think that i'll make it a reasonable size the little puffs on these are so so cute i did find though when i did a couple of them i accidentally did seven of these little puffy petals so do make sure that you don't do the wrong count before you've even started doing the outside bit like i did <laughs> so little tip <laughs> so there we go that is my crochet this week i haven't done any since last week's episode i'm afraid but i am excited to get on with that but i've been really busy sorting out planning for advent so I've had lots of planning to do for what choices and options I'm going to do, which I'm going to talk about in a second. So now onto the shop updates section. So this year's yarn advent theme is Woodland Wonders. Now I will have quite a few options for that, so I will go through it and I'll pop sort of yarn based choices on the screen. So we have a 24 day advent and I have a separate theme for the 12 day one so I will talk about that in a minute. So the Woodland Wonders will be the 24 day advent. You will have a choice between a 10 gram and 20 gram size advent and these yarn bases on the screen. If you are stuck and you don't know what base to choose, I'd have a video talking about different yarn bases if you want to look into that. But if you are stuck and you really don't know which one to choose, I would go for the Merino and Nylon Fingering Weight yarn because it is the most versatile. You can use it for socks, you can use it for shawls, it's nice and soft, you can use it for garments and anything. So that's the one that I would go for if you don't really don't know what which one to choose. The little extras, there'll be some stitch markers and ukulele and different little bits and bobs that I normally put in there will be a little sewing kit it'll be suitable for for beginners in there like last year if you watched the videos on last year's vlogmas there will be a little tutorial that will come out with the vlogmas videos that will go along with the advent so there will be a little sewing kit in there as well there will be a tote bag which will be printed specifically for the woodland wonders advent for this year so you won't be able to get it another time um, I love this sort of style of tote bag it's got a really nice length of handle quite a large 
bag that's really nicely well made not handmade though it will be printed because i will be making some extra project bags which i will talk about in a minute these ones are printed totes that will come with a shawl knitting pattern but you do have the choice of having 100 gram for christmas day as well on the base that you've chosen for that advent if you want a different base for that christmas day just drop me a message and i will make a note of it and i will make adjustments that's absolutely fine the next choice you can have a weekly advent so 100 grams for each week of advent all wrapped individually so you'll have one for each week um, like you could open it the 1st, 7th, 14th and 21st I would suggest um, and there will be some little extra stitch markers in those but they won't be a bag in there so there'll be a lot less extras in that sort of one there won't be a pattern with that either so it's literally just 400 grams with a couple of stitch markers in there but wrapped in four individual packages and the last choice for the Woodland Wonders advent is the project bag sock knitting pattern and sock set so you've got the different bases to choose from that will come with a sock pattern which I haven't re yet revealed we'll email these patterns that I'm talking about the the shawl pattern which comes up with the 24 day advent and the sock pattern that will be emailed to you in November if you purchase the one of these sets the patterns will be available in December but the people who buy the sets will get the pattern included and get it a bit early as well so the Woodland Wonders theme I have put some colour circles on there which are the colour inspiration for the set so these yarns all the sets that I've talked about so far all of those things will be different so you can purchase couple of the sets if you wanted to and they won't be the same but they will be in the same sort of colour theme so that it will all go together so that is the Woodland Wonders themes. I thought I would do a separate set for the 12 days of Christmas because I quite often show the yarns that I've dyed over in the Vlogmas videos and if you are saving yours until the 12 days of Christmas starting from Christmas Day then you will get spoilers so the 12 days I'm keeping separate and in separate theme now I'm going back to the first theme that I ever did for these advents and it's which is frostbite which I love that theme um, so I'm doing 12 days of Christmas you can choose 10 and 20 gram minis in the normal range of yarn bases but this will be a different colour theme to the Woodland Wonders. It will be sort of all blues and greens. Relatively muted colours, sort of mid-tones and lighter colours. And on this one will also come with a pattern. This will be a different pattern to the shawl. It will be a cowl. Um, and I'll have specifically di designed it for this set of minis. So they're 12, 10 gram or 20 gram minis in the... DK fingering weight yarns and whatever set you order you'll be able to make that cowl pattern in obviously it might look slightly different being a different weight of yarn fingering weight or DK obviously be a bit thicker if you buy the DK set so with the frostbite set you'll have some little extras in some of the parcels like stitch markers etc and there'll be a drawstring bag in with this one this will be the same shape of bag as it was in last year's advent calendar so it won't be a tote it'll be a smaller bag with a drawstring and it'll be printed specifically for the frostbite set so that'll be different from the woodland wonders completely so i've made it so if you wanted to have them you could purchase any of these sets but they and then none of them will be the same I wanted to make that very clear so that is all the advent information hopefully it isn't too much I have got a page on my website with all the information about the different advents that you can buy this year and actually showing previous advent themes if you want to go and have a look at those it's quite interesting I have a page on advent calendars which I will link in the description bar down below which you can check look at all the information and decide which one you're going to sort of buy before you get to the date the one thing I also wanted to mention is that I'm including postage in the prices for this year's advent calendars. So everything is included. So if you are in Australia, if you are in the USA, the postage is included in that price. So all these advent related kits will be available from the 29th of March at 7pm GMT. I will list the, the full list of options again on the 1st of August and if you are subscribed to my email list you will get a notification first before it's out there for everyone else.
so there we go hopefully that makes sense so now i thought i'd talk about yarn clubs and the yarn of the month colorway so this month i've chosen a gorgeous turquoisey color so this is inspired by the song good vibrations by the beach boys and it is a turquoise with some green and some purple in there and i've paired it with a little purple mini now the options for the colour of the month is that you can actually have 100 grams of this on its own, you can have the sock set or you choose a shawl set with 200 gram skeins in a number of bases as well. So this yarn will only be available for this month until the 7th of April and it will ship on the 12th of April. I say this month but we're still in March at the moment but this is the April colourway. And it is listed in the shop now and it will be open until the 7th of April. And then again, it will ship on the 12th of April. This weekend, I'm going to attempt to do some little swatches in knitting and um, crochet as well. So if you keep an eye out, I will put a little reel up of the way the yarn looks when it's actually knitted and crocheted up. I have the yarn clubs on the website already from the music from the movies fantasy edition and the pop stars set. I am now going to tell you what the themes are and show a picture on the screen of what the inspiration images are. So if you don't want to see that, skip ahead to the little clip with Jensen appearing at the end of the video and you won't have any spoilers. But if you want to see the inspiration pictures, keep watching. I won't actually show the yarn, it's just like it gives you an idea what the colours and the inspiration is. So I'm going to tell you now. <laughs> so for the music from the movies fantasy edition this the april movie is a moonwalker this is the inspiration image now do ignore the sort of black background because a lot of these film posters have a lot of black background so basically there's like a rainbow on it so that is my inspiration for the april music from the movies yarn club fantasy edition and you've got a range of different bases to choose from and these will be like a sock set or a shawl set that you can choose from or just a 100 gram skein if you want to and the pop stars sets of the mini sets are inspired by cindy lauper for april so these colors are basically going to be sort of yellows and oranges with little pops of other colors in as well but inspired by some of her most famous songs pop the inspiration picture on the screen so you can get an idea of what the colors will look like all the pop stars mini sets go together for the pop stars blanket so hopefully that's helped you get an idea of what the april colorways are going to be like they will all be available on the shop until the 7th of april and they will be shipped on the 12th of april so now it's over to you jensen So Jensen's wearing the burrow beanie and I'll leave a link to it in the description bar because I can't pronounce the author's name I'm afraid um, but it's still fitting we've had it quite a while now but it's cute little ears I'm sure he's not going to want to wear big bunny ears when he gets a bit older so I've got to make the most of it Jensen can you say bye to the camera bye. good boy So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I shall see you on the next week's video.